Welcome to another Somatic Yoga Flow. My name is Dominique and today I will be guiding you through an embodied yoga practice. The language of the nervous system is often referred to as somatics or the felt sense. The focus and intention of this practice today is to cultivate an embodied experience. As we move, we will bring awareness to the bodily sensations that we are feeling. We will invite those bodily sensations to help guide us to move intuitively, opposed to thinking too much about where we ought to go. No props are required for this practice today, but you are always welcome to use anything that you need to best support you and your body. We will get started in a child's pose. So once you are ready and you have your mat laid out, you will turn towards the front of the mat. You can bring your knees close together or wide apart, big toes touch, and then sit back as the hands extend out. The forehead will make its way to the mat. And we'll take a few moments here to tune in, to scan through the body, to bring awareness. And then start to bring awareness to what you feel. Perhaps that's through the breath. Or through noticing your clothes pressed against your skin. It can even be bringing awareness to your fingertips pressed against the mat. The knees against the earth. The tops of the feet greeting the mat. A few moments here and to tune in and to notice without judgment or attachment. Just awareness. And that awareness shifts back to the breath. Noticing how the rib cage expands with the inhales and contracts with the exhales. Keep that awareness for the next few breaths. And notice what starts to change with that awareness. Then wherever you are in your breath cycle, empty the breath completely. Together we inhale through the nose. Open mouth, sigh, release. Again, inhale through the nose. Open mouth, sigh, release. Last one, fill up. Exhale, let that go. Seal the lips, cultivate ujjayi breath. And start to rock the forehead left and right against the mat. Bringing in a little bit of movement here. Massaging the third eye. And then perhaps this starts to become bigger movements as you find a little bit of sway of the torso and the hips left and right. Beginning to feel the movement throughout the body. And then eventually we start to let that go, find our way back to stillness. Then inhale, cupcake the fingertips, lift the palms off the earth, find length all through the spine, pull the hips back towards the heels. Exhale, let that go, palms release to the earth. We do that one more. We do that two more times. Inhale, lift the palms, find length. Exhale, release. One more time. Inhale, lift the palms, find length. Exhale, release. 
release. Palms stay on the earth this time. Inhale, exaggerate, roll up, find a cat back to come into tabletop. Knees come in a little wider underneath the hips, then exhale. Find your cow, drop the belly, gaze goes up. Inhale, round through the back. Exhale, drop the belly. This time we inhale, round through the back. Then on your exhale, just come to a neutral position. Then start to find a sway of the hips, left and right. Wiggle the tail. Finding movement. And as always, you can close your eyes to help connect to what it is that you're feeling. And then perhaps you start to take this into big hip circles. And if you don't want the hip circles to be big, they can be small as well. And then just notice what starts to come up when you're moving through the hips. Moving some energy through the body. You might notice that anything that was trapped or stored in the hips might start to come up for you. No attachment to it, just notice. Breathe through it. Then you'll switch in the other direction whenever you're ready. And this side might feel a little bit different. You might have a little bit more of a barrel roll through the torso, and that's okay. Allow the sensations to guide you to where you need to go. Then eventually we all come back into our tabletop. Walk the knees closer together, and then we'll sit back on the heels for a heel sit. Integrity through the spine here. Then inhale, lift the arms overhead, interlace the fingers, palms flip up towards the ceiling, pull the chest through, slight arch in the back. Exhale, round, palms come in front of you, chin starts to tuck to the chest. Inhale, open up, cat cows here in a seated position. Exhale, round. One more time towards the center, and then we'll start to rotate to the side. So this time, as you lift, lift the arms up towards the right, so you stretch through the left side body. Then exhale, come back to the center, arms in front. Inhale, lift over to the left. Now you stretch through the right side body. Exhale to the front. Keep with that. You can move at your own pace, alternating side to side. And then if this starts to bring you into any other organic movement, just go with it. Notice no attachment. Allow the energy to move through you. Breathe into it. A few more rounds here. And then we all meet with the palms in front of us, chin tucked to the chest, really find length, equal opposite energy, palms to the front of the back, shoulder blades to the back, breathe here. On your next inhale, arms come overhead, neutral position with the spine, Exhale, release the hands, goddess the arms, pull the chest through. Inhale, arms overhead, round through the back. Exhale, pull the chest through, bend through the elbows. Keep moving here, your own pace. And then imagine that you're clearing energy all around you. So if you would like, you can keep the arms overhead or perhaps you start to bring the forearms together. Whatever feels best for you to imagine that you're clearing an energetic space around you. And then perhaps the arms start to move differently. Just find what feels good for you. Allow yourself to explore freedom of expression here. 
Again, the bodily sensations guide us not where we think we should go. We're working on rewiring here. And then regulating whatever it is that's coming up for us. So kind of disrupting the pattern, if you will. One more full round. And then release the hands on top of the thighs. Take a moment here, settle in. You can allow the eyes to close if you would like. Perhaps left hand to the heart and right hand to the navel space. We'll take another round of cleansing breath. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, sigh, release. Seal the lips, cultivate ujjayi breath. Then we'll release the hands to the earth, tuck the toes, hips to sky, down dog. So if you practiced a somatic or embodied flow with you before, you know I like to move into a dancing down dog. So you can move into that now if you would like, or you can just stay with the pedal of the feet. If you're wondering what a dancing down dog is, it's kind of like a pedal and a hip sway at the same time. Just allow yourself the freedom to explore. And then notice what you're feeling, what's coming up. No attachment or judgment to that. And if stillness is what your body really needs today, then take that as well. And a couple of more rounds of breath here. And then eventually you will make your way back to stillness. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower them back down. Inhale, lift the heels, roll along. Exhale, lower, one more time. Inhale, lift the heels. Exhale, lower. And start to walk towards the top of the mat for a forward fold. Grab opposite elbows, hang heavy, sway left and right. These could be big or small sways. They could be fast or slow. Whatever works for you here. Now what I like to do when I'm in a forward fold and I'm swaying, I really like to bring awareness to my feet, to check in through all four corners. And then I like to feel my toe pads, and just really bring awareness to the body. Really cultivate that embodied experience. And perhaps for you today, your awareness is really more on the hamstrings or the low back. Your body will tell you. Just close your eyes and allow yourself to tune in. And the arms are crossed. Eventually, you'll drop the hands down to the earth and very slowly start to let go of the sway. So start to round through the back. Your hands will slide up the shins to the thighs and you'll spin the palms out so they're facing the outer legs. Then inhale, drop the belly, arch through the back, pull the chest through. Exhale, round. We're moving through standing cat cat. Inhale, drop the belly, pull the chest through. Exhale, round. Keep moving. Check in with the weight distribution through the feet. If you would like, you can close your eyes and perhaps you start to move a little bit side to side like we did in the kneeling position. Just allow yourself to explore here. Move intuitively. The bodily sensations guiding you, not where you think you're supposed to go. Again, disrupting the pattern, creating new neurological pathways. A couple more rounds here. And then on your last one, you'll round through the back, press yourself all the way up into a mountain pose. Take a moment here, really ground through all four corners of the feet. Palms are facing towards the front of the mat. Lift the kneecaps. Slight squeeze of the glutes. Drop the tailbone down towards the mat. 
broaden through the collarbones, chin parallel to the earth. Engage through the triceps, really feel the energy all through your body, awareness all through the body. And as you inhale, imagine that your breath is coming through the soles of your feet, all the way through your legs, your arms, torso, and out of the crown of the head. Exhale, other direction, it goes all the way down. We'll do that again. Inhale, imagine the breath coming all the way through the body, up and out of the crown of the head. Exhale, through the crown of the head, all the way down the body, all the way out the legs and out of the soles of the feet. One more time, inhale, breath comes all the way up and through. Exhale, down and out. Release all the tension through your body. Then we inhale, arms sweep up towards the ceiling, gaze goes up. Exhale, hinge at the hips, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to shins or blocks, flat back. Exhale, release hands to the earth. Inhale, step back, for a plank, and then your choice, knees, chin, chest, or chaturanga. Inhale for high cobra or up dog. Exhale, find your way to down dog. Take a moment, check in with the breath. Then we inhale, lift left foot up towards the ceiling. Exhale, left knee towards left elbow, and then left foot outside of left hand. Inhale, pull the chest through. Exhale, straighten your front leg, rock back, wide-legged pyramid, gaze is back. Inhale, pull the chest through. You can come onto your fingertips here if you would like to create more space. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, rock forward. Exhale, rock back. This time we hold. You can keep the ball, the foot lifted, or you can lower it back down to the earth. Perhaps you stay still here or start to rock the hips left and right. Then eventually find stillness. Start to bend through your front knee. Rotate so your back foot is parallel to the back edge of the mat and then sweep open for a warrior two facing the front of the mat. As you inhale, we find peaceful warrior, straighten your front leg, arms overhead. Exhale, release warrior two. Inhale, lift, grow long. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Exhale, release. This time we keep the front knee bent, reverse warrior two. Exhale for your side angle. You can bring your left forearm to your left thigh if you would like as your right arm reaches overhead. Now you have freedom to explore here. You can roll throughout the wrist or perhaps roll through the arm. I invite you to close your eyes here. So check in with what's going on. The lower body is stable. And if you're moving your right arm, the movement is up top. So there's opposites going on. There's stability and stillness, but also movement. Notice how that feels in the body and notice what comes up for you. Again, move organically and intuitively here. And if stillness is what's really calling to you today, that's okay too. We have one more full breath here. You can open the eyes and then start to rotate down towards the mat. Hands come to the earth. Step your left foot back for a plank pose. We inhale here in plank. Exhale, bend through the knees. Inhale, extend through the legs, and then ripple forward to a plank. Again, we exhale, bend through the knees. 
Inhale, extend through the legs. Ripple forward to a plank. Exhale, bend through the knees. Inhale, extend through the legs. Ripple forward to a plank. This time, as you exhale, knees, chin, chest, or chaturanga. Inhale for high cobra or up dog. Exhale, down dog. Take a moment here. You can always go down into a child's pose if you would like. And a little reset. So you can find that dancing down dog again if you would like, or pedal through the feet, or stillness. Whichever you choose, bring awareness back to the body. Notice without attachment or judgment. Eventually, we all meet in stillness. Then you'll lift your right foot on your inhale. Then exhale, right knee, right elbow. Step right foot outside of your right hand. Inhale, pull the chest through. Exhale, rock back, wide leg pyramid. Inhale, pull the chest through. Exhale, rock back. One more time. Inhale, pull the chest through. Exhale, rock back and hold. Again, you can keep the ball of the foot up or you can bring it down to the earth. Perhaps you stay in stillness or start to find a rock of the hips, left and right. And eventually we find stillness here. Bend through your front knee, rotate your left heel down, and cartwheel open for a warrior two. This time we're facing the left side of the mat. Gaze beyond your right middle finger. Inhale, straighten front leg, arms overhead. Exhale, warrior two. Inhale, grow long. Exhale, warrior two. One more time. Inhale, grow long. Exhale, warrior two. Keep your front knee bent. Inhale, reverse. Exhale, side angle. Left arm is extended overhead. Shoulders are in line with the hips, and then you can start to roll through the wrist. You can make circles with the arm. Close the eyes, really tune in. Again, we have the opposition in the body, the opposition in the lower body versus the upper body. The stillness versus the movement. Continue to breathe. We're cultivating the embodiment. A couple more rounds of breath here. And then begin to rotate down, both hands come to the earth, right foot steps back to meet the left, hold here, inhale, exhale, bend through the knees, inhale, extend through the legs for down dog, then ripple forward to a plank, exhale, bend through the knees, inhale, ripple forward, exhale, bend through the knees, Inhale, ripple forward. This time, as you exhale, move through your vinyasa. We take our time to down dog. Check in with the body. Check in with the breath. Last down dog of this practice, so what do you need here? Another two rounds of breath to explore before stillness. And 
then eventually we all find stillness. And start to walk your feet towards the hands at the top of the mat, forward fold. Then heel toe the feet to the wrists of the mat, heels in, toes out. As you bend through the knees, drop the glutes down to the mat, pull the chest through, inhale. Exhale, round and extend. Inhale, bend through the knees, pull the chest through. Exhale, round and extend through the legs. One more time. Inhale, bend the knees, pull the chest through. Exhale, round. This time we bend the knees, find your way into a yogi squat. You can use blocks or props here if you have them. And breathe. You can find movement or stillness, whatever works for you. And again, bringing awareness to what it is that's coming up for us. As we open the hips and the inner thighs. And breathe through it. Practicing acceptance. Awareness. Non-attachment. And letting go. One more full round of breath here. And then just go ahead and walk the hands behind you. The feet are in front, the glutes are on the earth. You can have your fingers pointed out towards the sides of the mat here as we move into a figure four stretch, or you can move the hand positioning however it feels best for you. So we'll start with the right side, bring the right knee into the chest and the outer right ankle on top of the left leg. Then you can walk your left foot in or scooch the boot closer to left heel. Flex through your right foot and you can start to find your rock left and right. And go ahead and release the leg packet over towards the left. Find length through the upper body. You're broad through the collarbones, and perhaps you start to gaze over towards the right. So it's a gentle twist here. And then we release that back to center. Create space so you can unwind. And then windshield wipe with the legs left and right. Prepare for the other side. So feet come back together. You'll lift your left knee in, outside left ankle on top of right leg. Create as much or as little space as you would like here. Left foot is flexed. And start to rock left and right. Eventually this goes into a gentle twist. Legs over towards the right. Find length through the upper body or broad through the collarbones. Perhaps there's a little bit of a gaze over to the left. And slowly release. Let that go. Unwind. And we find another windshield wiper with the knees left and right again. Once you're even on both sides, feet plant, knees are bent, hands come to the back of the thighs, round through the back, lower yourself down onto the mat. And we'll bring the knees into the chest for a rock left and right. Eventually, this will take us into a sleeping tiger with the feet up towards the ceiling and hands up towards the ceiling. You can start to roll through the wrists and the ankles. And getting out the last little bit of movement before our meditation and perhaps you start to jiggle and wiggle and if there's a lot of energy still in you just really let it go everyone feels different so do what works for you here and it can even be stillness right so you're really tuning in and allowing the energy through the body to let you know what it needs and eventually the knees come back into the chest and then it's your choice if you would like to take Sukta Baddha Konasana with the knees wide and soles of the feet together. Otherwise, you can go right into a traditional Shavasana 
with the legs extended out and the arms alongside the body. When you're ready, the eyes will begin to close. And if you haven't already done so, find the natural cadence with the breath. And start to bring awareness to the crown of the head. That awareness starts to flow down through the forehead, the eyes, the cheeks, the chin. And perhaps you wiggle the jaw left and right. Then you start to scan down through the neck, the collarbones, the shoulders, the chest, the back, the arms, the hands, down to the belly, the hips, the pelvic bowl. And your awareness shifts down to the upper legs, the lower legs, and then the feet. And we start to scan from bottom to top, awareness in the toes, the tops of the feet, the soles of the feet, the heels, up through the shins, the calves, the kneecaps, the back of the knees. Awareness, the tops of the legs, the bottom of the legs, up through the pelvis, the hips, the glutes, up through the hands, the wrists, the forearms, the belly, the rib cage, the upper arms, the shoulders and chest, collarbones, upper back up through the neck, the chin, the nose, the eyes, and up to the crown of the head. Awareness all through the body. Then sending loving energy all through the body.